everyone, my name's Chandre. Back in 2013, I co-founded Crimson and I'm the Chief Operating Officer of the company. I was named on the Forbes 30 Under 30 list in 2017 um, and last year was named um, Woman of the Year in Business and Innovation by Next Magazine and, and Elizabeth Arden. Um, today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about International Women's Day and what it means to me. So Jamie and I started Crimson back in 2013, um, about six months after we graduated, both graduated from high school. Um, we both went to school in New Zealand and um, I guess both were very ambitious students um, and when, when Jamie was in year 11 he had uh, a mentor at school who applied to school in the US and after kind of hearing about the success that this guy had um, getting into Yale he was super inspired to kind of figure out how to do this for himself so he really wanted to kind of I guess figure out where the best university for him was um, and then uh, figure out how he could get there. And Basically, when, when we met, um, I was super inspired by his story of, I guess, challenging the status quo in New Zealand and looking outside of the country for the, be the best university options for him. Um, and uh, at the time, I thought, you know, I'm either going to go off and become a doctor or a lawyer because, you know, I really like science subjects and I also did a lot of modern United Nations and a lot of debating at school. So I thought these career paths might be good for me. But then when I, I met Jamie, it really kind of challenged me to think beyond, I guess, what I'd always heard about at school and um, made me think about different career paths and different university options outside of the ones that um, I'd heard about uh, locally in New Zealand. So over the course of the six months that followed us first meeting when we, when we first kind of finished high school, um, we talked a lot about the kids we were mentoring at school and you know, how we could better support them to access these great global opportunities. Um, and about six months after we first met, in the middle of 2013, um, we started Crimson um, to help, um, yeah, help the kids we were mentoring to have better access to mentors uh, to reach some of the world's best universities. So Crimson started as an organisation that would connect kids in New Zealand to mentors at Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Stanford um, to kind of help them sh like create their own path and figure out how these great opportunities that exist at schools um, like these ones um, could be things that they could attain. After we worked with a few students who had amazing results in the admissions process for the US and also the UK, people really loved the idea of it and Crimson grew um, from there. So it's been a really exciting journey since then um, and we've been really lucky to, to build out a really fantastic team of people across um, you know, 27 countries around the world to now be supporting kids um, in all of those places to get into the world's best schools. So for young entrepreneurs who are female, um, interested in kind of starting their own thing, uh, or even people interested in STEM, I have a few tips for you, a few key things to think about. Firstly, um, think about pain points that you experience in your day-to-day -day life. Um, when you're thinking about the problem that you want to solve, my biggest piece of advice is not to overthink it. I think that you should aim to solve the things that have the biggest impact on the world around you um, and, and your day to day. Um, and then think pretty practically about ways to solve this. My second piece of advice is to um, focus your time and energy on thinking about how to solve the problem um, and then like actually operationalizing it, spending your time on, on trying to solve the problem itself. So spend less time creating business plans, spend less time you know, speaking to like hundreds of people about the problem, spend more time testing out solutions, figuring out what actually works. Um, and then using the results and the great success that you have with um, the different testing that you do to be the foundation of, of I guess, I guess the le legitimacy you create for your business. So I think those are probably, um, yeah, two, two key things to think about. And then the last piece, which I think is especially important for young females is um, to push yourself to be really bold. So um, something that I read uh, very early on in my, in my journey with entrepreneurship was to think about what, what kind of decisions I would make and you know, what I would do if I wasn't afraid of, of you know, what would go wrong. So I think it's useful to ask yourself the question, you know, what would I do if I wasn't afraid um, when you're encountering big decisions? And then think through you know, why you give the answer that you give. Um, are there specific you know, mental barriers or emotional barriers that you um, are putting up for yourself? Are there, you know, p there, are there barriers that you have with the way you think people will, will perceive you? Are there barriers with the way that you think you'll be able to access things um, or access resources around you? Um, and really understand, you know, objectively speaking, what you think the best decision is, and then um, analyze like the different challenges you think you'll you'll have to kind of overcome to achieve them. And once you can kind of separate those two things, the best outcome, and then also the challenges that you'll face to achieve them, I think it makes it a lot easier for you to think through how you solve each individual challenge, as opposed to um, being afraid to get to the right outcome because you are only thinking about the challenges. 
International Women's Day to me is a really exciting um, opportunity for both females and males to celebrate, um, I guess, equality in the world that we live in today. Um, and I think International Women's Day is not just a celebration for, uh, for females, I think it's also a time for males and um, for males to you know, appreciate all the great stuff that, that females have done um, in the world around us today and are doing, but also a chance for females to appreciate um, how significantly the world has changed in the last 50 years for, uh, for both males and females. So I think that yeah, International Women's Day represents, number one, this idea of equality um, and uh, both males and females appreciating that. Um, and number two, I think it's an opportunity for us to spend some time kind of reflecting on all the, the big sort of um, leaps that we've made as a society in, in um, allowing the world to be more equal. So we think about like in the last 100 years, um, women around the world being, give, being given the right to vote and um, women now being, you know, uh, leaders in, in like STEM or in technology in fields that were previously very male dominated. Yeah, International Women's Day is about being able to reflect on, on how much we've come as a society. Um, and then finally, I think that International Women's Day is also a great opportunity for both males and females to understand like what some of the biggest challenges that still stand in our way of being an even more equal society are um, and having some mutual understanding of that. So it's about males and females celebrating each other and how far we've come, but it's also about really um, reflecting on, on what we've learned and also understanding the world we live in now and what we want to what we want to learn if we look back on, you know, um, on things today in, in 20 years time or 25 years time. One of the things I'm most proud of at Crimson is that we have a very diverse environment. So we have, you know, diversity in um, ethnic group, we have diversity in culture, we have diversity in age. Um, and I, what makes me excited about all this diversity is that we have, you know, such different perspectives coming together and helping us to solve um, the, the big problems and, and kind of come up with solutions for the big opportunities that are in front of us as a company um, to help our students get the best outcomes. Uh, I think as a result of that, we have an environment that is um, really nurturing of, um, of both males and females. And um, we also have some really great ideas and opportunities that come from us being able to take um, a very broad approach to solving problems with all of the different voices that we have. So I think that, yeah, we're really lucky to, to kind of have a company that is this diverse. And it's even more exciting for me to see, um, you know, other companies, other not-for-profit organizations, universities, um, really starting to value diversity um, in the world that we live in today.